I'm Michael L. Martin Jr., and this is NaNoWriMo Day 30. The final day of NaNoWriMo, ladies and gentlemen. Did I win? Did I lose? Did I win? Did I lose? Sadly, not sadly. It's not sad at all. I didn't win NaNoWriMo. At the time of this video, my word count stands at 38,452 words. Not too far from 50,000, but not 50,000. But I feel good about what I've accomplished. I don't feel bad or anything. I feel good. Wow! I feel good. Overall, it was a fun experience. I'm still having fun writing the story. It was never intended to be this serious story that I was going to work on. It was intended to be a side project. As I explained in the earlier video, I was just supposed to be taking a break from my main manuscript to work on this one. But I like it now. I, I fell in love with it. And I'm going to finish it. Would I ever do NaNoWriMo again? I never say never, but I don't plan on it. Not because I didn't win, but because winning became less important to me than writing a worthwhile story. It was important to me to not write meaningless narratives, stuff that I knew just wasn't going to end up in the final draft. In the beginning, I was able to turn off my inner editor, but in the middle of this whole thing, I made a decision to not write terribly on purpose. No matter what I did, I wanted to make everything count. Don't get me wrong, I understand the whole concept of free writing. I do it all the time. But in this particular instance with this story, I wasn't in free writing mode. And honestly, it's just my writing style. I like going back and correcting things things. It's slower, but for me, it's the fun part. NaNoWriMo speeds up the most enjoyable part of writing for me, which is spending time in the world that I've built and getting to know the characters. That's what I love most about writing. And while NaNoWriMo speeds up that part of the writing process, it lengthens the editing process and the revision process, which is not my favorite. So I don't know if I'm going to do NaNoWriMo again. I may, I may not. It was fun. So for those of you who didn't win, like me, no need to feel embarrassed or discouraged or anything like that. I didn't finish and I feel awesome. Put on a happy face and keep it moving. Most importantly, keep writing. That's why you got into writing in the first place, right? Because you enjoy it, not because of winning a contest with no prize. But that's my take on it. I want to hear your take on it. What do you think? Tell me about your creative process and what do you enjoy most about it? What do you enjoy most about what you do? Thanks for watching.